What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. Welcome back to W uh, NBA 2K16. God, I keep doing that. Anyway, we are back in this. Uh, there's something I wanted to do. I unlocked Transition Finisher as a badge. So we're going to go ahead and fully upgrade that to the gold. Uh, where is it here? I think this is important. Run the break and finish at the rim. So we really, really need this because my, my inside score is pathetically low. It really is. I should have upgraded that a little bit more. But it is what it is. This should help us out quite a bit now that we have it. I am rather content with that. So, yeah, I think the next thing I'm going to get is my inside scoring, get that boosted. I was going to do, like, Playmaker or something, but I really don't need it. It's not an issue, especially with all the badges that we have. So, another thing I wanted to do before I did anything was uh, go to the store. And I wanted to go to the NBA store and get uh, maybe a sleeve or two. You know, something to wear in-game. Get the circulation going. Where are we here? Charlotte. Oh, wait. I guess it wouldn't be this, would it? No, this is wrong. Sorry. One second. Uh, it's accessories. That's where it's under. All right. My left arm, my park. I want it under the left arm. See Adidas ones. All right, we'll get that. That's mad expensive. There we go. And the away, we'll go ahead. Oh. Oh, awesome. So I only have to buy it once. That's great. Good. And then... All right, the home game. Well, where is it? There we go. That's what we wanted. No headwear. It might be in the sneakers section. Hold on. Let's change this up. Home game. These are so ugly, man. Like, seriously, they really are. <laughs> I don't know what Buddy was thinking. Maybe a bit of black and white or something. Are there the retros? Oh, I should get these, man. The fours. The Jordan fours. But there's also threes. It's not even previewing them. I like the fours better. I think I'm going to do these. They may find it in a home color. There we go. But seriously, why am I not wearing any socks? Like, that's stupid. I might try something, though. Away. So I don't want them white. I kind of want them team colored. I don't like Reeboks at all. 2K generics. What am I currently wearing? What's currently equipped? Oh, it does change the color. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> that is pretty dope. I like that. It does change the color accordingly. So I'm wearing retro fours right now. Oh, there's fives though. You know what? I want the fives for my home game. Damn, that looks fresh as hell. <laughs> retro fives, custom color. All right. And if we go with our home game. We go home, we're wearing the fours. <laughs> One thing I want to do as well before we start. Just go back to the accessories. Well, you know what? Okay, hold on. Now we'll go...
I think I'll go ahead and get these. I know I'm just wasting a ton of money on it, but I, I want to have that ex exposure. You know what I mean? Um, one moment. Confused here. It's this one. This one. There we go. Now let's just quickly go to socks. It just kind of seals the deal. You know, I kind of like those. A little bit of gap. That's what we'll do. All right, let's go with the away. Those are equipped. It's unfortunate I wasted that much money. But I'll get it all back quickly. There we go, and got my socks back. Very nice. I'd say that looks pretty solid. Looking pretty fresh. Nothing else I want to do. So I'll just go ahead and rock that. Alright, let's go into our next game finally. Oh, what is this? Yes, let's do this. What did we get from him? Got a signature shoe. I guess that's okay. Alright, let's go in. What should I wear? Another another away game? That's crazy. I'll just wrap the classic away. Or the regular away, I should say. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Greetings, NBA fans. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson, and seated beside me, Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. The action tonight will be happening out in Phoenix, where the Suns will be going up against the Charlotte Hornets. And for Charlotte, they've won eight of their last ten, looking really strong. They've got to be pleased. And All-Star Weekend approaching, always a big stage, but how desirable is it today for players to be in a big market? Kenny, do you think that aspect is as important as it used to be? No. Uh, when Miami Heat won the, uh, won the NBA championship, small market team, uh, they're about 29th market. You know, San Antonio Spurs win the NBA champions, small market team, uh, below 30 in terms of U.S. cities. So, no, you just have to have – guys want to be on good teams, great teams. That's more memorable than being in a place that has late night dining. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, Kenny, but the big markets still have an attraction. Bright lights and that star power can help boost your profile and earning potential as a player. How about Kevin Durant, OKC? But no question. Yeah, I mean, They've been to the NBA example. Finals. No question. Another example. It doesn't hurt, man. If you have a great team, people know who you are. Late night dining, huh? That, late night. That's the that's – the, that's the, uh, the barometer of big yeah, city, yeah, late night, late, late night, night dining. dining. Say, yeah. hey, go to Sacramento. See what time you can get, can get a meal. Hopefully, this <laughs> uh, hopefully this game a feast uh, for <laughs> the viewers as we turn it over to Kevin Harlan. All right, we'll see how our new look applies. Probably doesn't at all. It's just for, but we're away, so we're wearing uh, we're wearing wearing our fives. I think out here. Thanks for joining us as we get set to I love it. NBA basketball. I want a pair of fives for myself. Two K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, and on the sideline tonight, Doris Burke. And, of course, Cody Zeller. With him gone, we'll see how they get along. Kevin, I thought he was really an important player for All right, here we go. Undervalued and not given the credit he deserved. That's not to say the trade was a mistake. But oh, I good steal. more than you might expect. You know, chemistry rise, I, I agree with you, Clark, because he was a, a glue guy. You know, he's a guy. Oh, I got to get back inside. Oh, there's the jumper. Perfect. And so wow, Phoenix has a new look around. here. I haven't been in Phoenix in a long time. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. And Charlotte looking at who they've got. Quint in at point guard. Jefferson is out there with Laverne. Then there's Andre Robertson. And it's Batum. Oh, I tried to get on the boards. Down low. Oh! 
Rebound Not today. That would have been nice and clean. By the Pelicans in their last game. Oh, Pelicans wow. That one behind them. I made him, like, troll you know, himself. I think that was the lockdown really defender. Like it was a sorry effort that they oh, put dear. On the defensive side. Oh, that's pretty harsh from you, Brett. But you're they have, like, right. I mean, their jerseys are very subtle as well. They're very white. They get on deep or late on their rotation. And they paid a big price for it. Here's Batum. The Suns getting the bucket. It is now to Quinn. Rovers on the pass to Jefferson. Doubled by Knight. Quinn there you go. Take the shot. Shot clock at five. Nice. The Got the, the assist. Win. Beautiful. Even double team. He had the vision to see the open man. Now, here is Knight. He's covered closely. And the foul. Oh, foul first three. reach in a while. That's his first foul. So first quarter just over a minute and a half in. Humphrey sets a pick for Knight. And he comes ah, up the That was my man, so. Shot. Knight's got his first bucket of the night. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball oh, I didn't give him any space. Game. That's good for him, though. Now, Come on, Jefferson. There you go. Finish hard. Like and he's starting to get what he wants. Couple of assists. And often. Nice move. Suns have gone two or three here to start off the game. You know what? Jefferson with some nice D. You know what? Right, here we go. Finishing ability and not really at the level that you would expect from money. A goal, but he's gonna have. Ah, uh, that would have been with more force. I had enough space, and it's Phoenix's but I'm not ball. cooking yet. Trailing by two, getting their first look of the season at this Hornets team. And this was as even a matchup as you'll find. Oh, that's NBA heavy D. I'm in there. Season series down the middle, one apiece. Yeah, this is really tight. I mean, it's split. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I passed teams. a little bit you late. Get the feeling if they play ten games, each side would win five. And the shot by Warren, no good. All right, let's slow that's this up. We don't need to D. rush it you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Here's Quinn. Oh! Called on T.J. Warren. Tried to take a that charge there. Follow the game. And, and really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Take Batum the nibble, Batum. The Quinn. Six to shoot. And Batum kicks to Roberson. Charlotte moving. You gotta get rid of it. Oh. And again, the Hornets missing. The Suns trailer. Brandon Knight. Outside I used to have a lot of fun with Knight when he was playing on the Bucks. Stole it like I don't know how many times from making new moves out there. And it's Humphreys, top of the key. Outside Knight. Got a bit of a mismatch over here. Um, that is so deep. Range. That is very Deep Brandon Knighty, isn't and Charlotte it? Will go the other way with it. They come in fresh off a win against the Warriors. Oh God, you're I going mean, to the bucket. No stress, the oh man, you got to finish that. Like a shoot around for him. Amazing at how well they shot the basketball. And even more impressive, Greg, considering it was on the road. I mean, it's rare that you see a team get that hot away from home. Now here is Knight. Oh, I tapped it. In their last game that block though. And what I enjoyed when watching that game was the Roberson. Whoa! Was he trying to pass to me? What was that about? And a brief look now at the best rebounders from the point guard position over the past month. Oh, look at me. One. Right in the top. And as you can see by his spot on that list, guys, very few point guards in the league can rebound like he can. I mean, he has a knack for always being in the right place when the shot goes out. Well, Greg, he's extremely physical for a one guard, and because he is, he's not afraid to get in there. Oh, I just gave him all that space. What was I doing? They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. Oh, damn. And that is a major Give me them fans. Flush right there, my friends. And in a tight contest like this, Greg, that might be just what they need to get the tide rolling in their direction. You're exactly right. I mean, so often when a team gets that kind of explosive play out of its back. Oh, what a pass. That can really rally. And nice pass, Brandon. That was nice. Guys, that time you went for Even if it wasn't for my team, for I'll there, give him man. that. That was sweet. Oh, 
to the middle. Here's LeBurn. Oh, he got fouled hard. Throws. Drew contact on the shot. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throw. Some changes for Phoenix. Markeith Morris comes in for Chris Humphreys. And it's Eric Bledsoe in for Knight. I'm assuming I'm off. Probably for the rest of the quarter. Not really. Kind of quiet for me on the offensive end, really. A couple of assists, only a couple points. He's averaging 11 points a game. Rebounds. And this is my old team from the last game. This is the kind of strong, steady play you like to see. He's earning his keep and helping them win games. And guys, they're finally getting the consistency they wanted to see from him. Look for that to continue. He had me. Now, he didn't have to more. do that. He's coming off a 13-point game against New Orleans. A that nice is some silliness. See, it's all about goading them at the right time. That wasn't at the right time. I went early. So he was able to adjust. Gives us another lead change. Too many of those to count. These teams have matched each other shot for shot. Play for play, it has Ooh. been impressive. Just tentative in the paint. Stuffing. A little Thanksgiving. Bit of confidence allowed to out here to recover and contest that shot. Here's Morris and the Suns tack on two more. Morris. Hornets trail by three. Quinn dishes to Laverne. That was so pretty. Had him confused. Great job to hit his teammate on Laverne's that. just seven. running to the to the Sons basket. Gone, six of twelve from the field here in the first quarter. Pass to Warren. There's the pass. To oh, a little early Warren on that. A screen. Once so kicks Thank to you. Warren and stolen by Freak. Just put it up. up. Rips just something simple. That's all six I wanted. Changes of the lead here. Yeah, no team able to build a big lead early on. I mean, it's tight. Yeah, both teams still kind of feeling. They're gonna do it again. I see it. This game. Now here's Chandler. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against New Orleans. Oh God. And he also controlled. The Ooh, he still got well. it. I mean, he really still a close game though. Only That's one one point difference. Make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball movement. Quinn passes to Jefferson. In the corner, it's Freak. And that was money. Again with the bucket. Free. What's up with it? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Warren kicks to Chandler. A little early, too. There's a screen. Doing it again. This They're going to cut the to the bucket. The 11 foot. No way. Not when no I'm good. there. Some solid defense from Quinn. Charlotte in the lead. Out to the right wing. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Laverne passes to Quinn. That's got to be bank. That was so bomb. good. Quinn's got nine. Had a lot of spacing. Had a guy in front of me anyway. So. Start. I mean, he looks ready to make an impact offensively. So far, so good. Oh God, I let him go. Chandler is screen and Bledsoe. Here we go. Oh, that is wide open. Oh shit! Oh my God! I'm there. The rebound. That was a good rebound right there, but they haven't been very strong on the glass so far. Oh, Jefferson. Yes. The rebound numbers, but some That's of that nice. comes down to how the ball bounces. Let's see if it evens out. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. I knew that was coming. 14 see it again. From him, the last game against New Orleans. You know, and in watching that game, he did a really nice job of passing the basketball. We have to get rid of it. And setting up his teammates. Just two to shoot. And again, unable to change momentum here. All right, let's do it. Hornets leading by six. They've definitely hit that groove. Early shot. They sure have, guys. I mean, oh, but it went in. Because I, like I had that fast break it's bonus. Yeah, you like groove, don't you? I wasn't yeah, I sure guess. about that one. That's groove tonight, Kevin. I mean, I knew it would have been a good clean, but I didn't think because I screwed up the release. <laughs> <laughs> from these guys, they're getting whatever they want. <laughs> And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Hornets. You know what, guys? It looks to me like they're really in sync here, all on the same page. They've already got a bunch of assists. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of turnover. Lens checked in for Phoenix. Shumper comes in for Warren. And then for Charlotte, Kaminsky is checked in for Jefferson. Michael Kidd No, I wanted Kaminsky. For Nicholas Batum. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Andre Robertson. Now here's Lin. 
Oh, that was a bad shot. Right now, he averages about nine it was perfect, but I had a man in my face. But he, he just couldn't make it count. Yeah, nice job of setting the screen by his teammate there. And I'm sure and one, him. damn. And uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup, and while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not, but sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. And the Suns making a change here. Tucker's checked in, and a switch here also for Charlotte. Take the bait, Gallinari's man. Gallinari's checked in. Now, here is Gallinari. He's certainly been a consistent... Oh, what am I doing? Take the shot. About 14 and a half points a game. Dude, that would have been bank if I hadn't done that. He has to take. Exactly. That's the right look. The decision was good. He just didn't execute. Who's my man? Bledsoe. Bledsoe should have been my man anyway. Now, here is Morris. Oh, He's dear. Guarded. The Sun shooting their fourth that shot sucks. at the foul line here. And their success rate on the season, right around 77. We're letting them catch up here. We had a bit of a, bit of a, bit of a lead here. They're starting this to season. catch up. And rightfully so. 32 seconds left to play in the first. And it's Lang. That time on the assist by Shumpert. They're finding Lang's to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Now here's Freak. Turned in and out. Come on, Gilchrist, that's against you. Against Golden State. Just five on the clock. Kaminsky dishes to Quinn. Takes a eh? the elbow. A little bit bad. Shepard pulls it down. That was way off the mark. Not a bad first quarter. And still a close game as the first quarter comes. But we allowed them to kind of come back, so we can't, we definitely can't do that this time. And let's hear from Tyson Chandler. He talked about what he brings. Sorry, I honestly, because it's kind of laggy there. Oh, look at this glitch. What the hell was that? And he knows that and prides himself on it. That also makes him the kind of player his teammates appreciate so much. Take the bite. They know nobody wins any rings without a guy like Tyson Chandler. Oh, he's on the ground. Welcome when they're on the ground, the that's that screen outlet. Second quarter of play. Definitely and take that shot. Consider how Charlotte is doing, guys. What do you think? They come out the gates here strong and put together just a solid first quarter. Ooh. A ton of good looks for him, Greg, on all Brandon. It's quality shots they're getting. They got PJ Tucker. Brandon Knight yeah, right. What? Then it's Chris Humphries. I guess that was enough space for him. Five. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline. Gilchrist. Oh, man. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Warriors was just phenomenal. Try again. He had 61 points, and that was just Kill Chris. My God, Notching what are you doing, brother? double for his effort and what was quite a display from him. Absolutely amazing numbers. Oh, I wasn't getting back was fast enough. There you go. He's on the glass. For him and for us, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you. We played at a level that Lynn! very few there you go. players are capable of I'll take of that money. And, you know, I'll be interested to see how much he's got left in the tank. I mean, that performance had to take a lot out of him. Yeah, oh, I'm you know good. What? Sometimes supreme confidence can increase your stamina and endurance. So I'll be oh, you got to see how that is. Damn. Here it is again. That's not for a long time. Hornets have gone 7 of 16, shooting just under 50% here in the second quarter. Now the feed to Laverne. Some nice pass in here by Charlotte. Now well, that's money. Gilchrist. There you go. So that's his spot. Searching for his first points of the game. And really, he's just done a great job of finding Gilchrist is like, yeah, brother. We got this. Down. Boy, it sure has seemed as though he's done it every time. It's been an awesome display. Of passing for him today. And now we have a chance to check out Freak here. What a run he's been on over the past few weeks. First in scoring, first in assist, and then there's his work at the free throw line where oh, they're talking about the me, aren't they? Percentage league wide. And I tell you what, his scoring abilities are almost otherworldly. I mean, no one's been able to slow him down or even come close. Now, here's Warren. He has so got to switch a little bit later than that. They get the rebound. Chandler kicks to Bloodsoe. He dishes it to Warren. Moore is a screen. Bloodsoe outside. What is going on, Bloodsoe? 
Dude, he's just just hogging Six the ball. The clock, the way up All right, I got it. And you saw how quick the defense was. Go, Chris. He's cutting. Got to reward the that. The there, there you go. Made that much more difficult. Yeah, and every team needs that kind of rugged interior defense because you want to try to distract your opponents when they get inside, and you also want to make them uncomfortable in their shot attempts. Ooh, here's Bledsoe. Michael Kidd, Gilchrist making his last Too many shot. men Off there. The oh, Robertson, run, Ooh, man. Yeah. Slam that bad boy down. The first half of the game. And he's fouled real hard. Throws. Drew contact on the shot. Yeah, just nice strength Yeah, I'll say contact. Jeez. With the shot. Boy, with all oh, the contact, Roberson, man, Drew come on, man. That would have been a heck of a bucket. He nearly got it to go. And he sinks the second. All right, at least you know, he got one. Their game here in the second, getting a little bit more physical, playing with some toughness now. And I'm looking for them to increase that lead. He wasn't really protecting the ball. The ball. The free throw line. Now here's Warren. Let's I'm just go jumping go like a go. monkey out here. Called as he misses, he'll go to the line and shoot two. It's on L. Jefferson. For Phoenix, they haven't yet missed a free throw. Five for five. Marquise Morris at the line for two. Didn't didn't his brother, his twin brother, play on the same team for a little while? The first one. Or do they do they still do they still do or I'm not sure. Both shots good from the strike. This is the way to stay in the game. They're doing a masterful job from the line right here. All right, these guys haven't been dunked on in a little while. There's 26 left in the first half. Quinn dishes to Jefferson. Jefferson. That's good. Pick and roll Maestro was dropped to a bronze. Out the passing, they are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate. That's his. That's money. Brought. I couldn't do anything about it. Figured I'd waste my, or not waste my stamina on that. Actually, hold up. Fifty-five seconds left to play in the first half. That's not who I wanted to pass to. Screen by Jefferson, and it's Kid Gilchrist. Dude, I was back here. Oh, and he gets it, and one. And I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter, and now you can see him getting into a rhythm. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. There you go, three-point play. Kid Gilchrist. Here is Bloodson. Six points for him. Pass to Warren. My former teammate from the last game. Morris, a screen. Bloodsoe outside. Six on the shot clock. Morris, no good. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boards. Oh, my God. Dude, are you serious? You got to give me that. And maybe swing the momentum. And Booker kicks to Morris. What's going on out here? To the middle. Here's Warren. I was right there. I just jumped a little early. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. Here's Quinn. Oh! Oh! I didn't think I'd make that buzzer three. I just started to cause some spacing. That's some clutch right there. And we finished. Well, Brandon, obviously. Brandon Knight getting a chatting with. going here you look at freak in this game he has been everywhere how about the magic touch he had on display there in that first half in terms of finding his teammates just a plethora of assists <laughs> all right let's get into it plethora you're going deep into that dictionary of yours man it's not a common occurrence with this guy though typically he's more Whoops. of a finisher oh that was money though been the case in this one damn and charlotte looking at who they've got Quinn, he's in a point guard Laverne is out there with Al Jefferson, then there's Batum, and it's Roberson. Oh, I was right the there. Two. Now here's Knight. I see you, Brandon. Picked by Humphreys. Here's Booker. Traps that was wide open, Jay. Booker's got seven. 
you know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the Take the shot. Oh, man, man, I hesitated. I shouldn't have hesitated. Too many open looks if like I had that. made it right away. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Chandler is screen. It's Knight with the drive to the inside. Oh, God, that's Long my team. man. No good from Booker. You know, Jesus, I don't even know what was going right on there. A bit out of sorts, you if you will. Hit Something's off side. with his mechanics. Um, at least as I look at that it. is so bank. Great there you go. There. And it was a bank shot, too. <laughs> for free. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. Outside night. Make it five to ten with him in that bucket. Not phased at all by having a bigger defender on him down low. And I really thought he would be. You know, at first glance, you wouldn't think that it's a little bit of tight D here in that particular situation. But that's you, well, man. You what, well, that's not how I wanted it. Like oh, is he taking that? Element at all, right there. Oh. He's wide open like that. He'll rarely miss those. That's why he took the shot. Oh, the steal. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Now here's Freak. Oh gosh. By night. And so Jefferson. The foul on the shot. About a trip to the line to shoot two. <laughs> been a nice game for Jefferson. He's got 13 points and also an assist. What touch he's got out there. He's hardly missed anything. And really, the only thing you can do is try to keep the ball my Jeff's hands. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. There you go. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as he'd like. You know, his performance at the foul line this season might be the first thing he points to as a priority to improve. And the Hornets making a change. Oh, I here. thought I had that steal. Hornets checked in. Now here's Knight. 11 points in the game. Inside. Here's Humphreys. Laverne. Oh, that was mine. <laughs> Come on. Charlotte leading by nine. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Quinn passes to Jefferson. Oh, that's so money. Nice. We know what got we're doing. Four this quarter. No hesitation. When he saw the space the D was giving him. That was close. Chandler. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. They almost gave that up. Knight's got six assists in the game. And he can tie the tomb. passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Oh! They fell down. asleep there on D. Rubs it in. It looks like a little deeper with the hanging finish. I tell you what, they're not backing off at all, are they? Looking good out there tonight. Up by 11 right now. Third quarter, still got eight minutes in this quarter. All right, Phoenix, keep it going for your Suns fans. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. I was able to listen in on what Jeff Hornacek had to say to his team. He told Len that he wants their offense to run through Oh, him. God, what happened? Coach is calling on oh, get that shit away from my place. A business. Really so they got they recovered it for them down the stretch. oh that's mine my fault my fault I got the block I tried to get the ball but Kevin, over to you. thank you Doris and here's freak Brandon oh oh my god that was nice holy shit oh my goodness he's I didn't think I'd make that one on him now. wow yeah just now letting him know what's up build up a lead this is when he really breaks out those things Slick moves. Man, like a Ginsu knife. Just slicing and dicing. And that last replay, courtesy of Kia. Phoenix with the ball. Following the bucket by the Oh, horse. is that mine? Oh, oh, Kaminsky. I, would, I think I would have had the he block on him. Points and six assists. Some Brandon effective Knight. offense making passes, and he's oh, also he been hitting from deep with the three ball. And Clark, he's got the D on his heel. Smart passing, hot shooting. That is a deadly combination. I did some both. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Quinn kicks oh, that was two. for Batum, man. With the steal. That didn't work. It's too too much traffic. Ah, with that, the my bad. Lead is cut down to six and the bucket from Brandon Knight. Wow, the floor just really opened up for him on that possession. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for good offense, but that was just a terrible reaction from the defense. The oh, here's oh, my God. He's got 25. A finish and finish That's the second on. one I've led by. I gotta stop doing this. Like ready to put 
the hammer down. Well, we've been waiting for one of these teams, Greg, to pull away. Maybe that'll be a springboard for him. Could be a dunk like that coming off a great nice. defensive there you go. play. Has to build some momentum. Get my teammates How back involved. He's able to angle his body to shield the big fella off and still get the finish. You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. And he made it. He, he made it look easy that time. Here's Shumpert following the basket by Nicholas Batum. Ah, gets it to go. can't give him that much space. We're only down by, we're only up by four, so we got to extend this lead. The jumper is a high percentage shot for him, and when he's got that much room. Oh, I had him on the ground. Pass back. Oh, man. Lynn dishes to Quinn. Oh! <laughs> got him with a second one. just exudes a love. Of the game, Woo. guys. You can see it in everything. That was he does. amazing. This guy lives and breathes the game. Now here is Knight. 18 points. I for saw him. that. To the middle. Oh, that's a foul, definitely. Two free throws now for him. A quick look now at some big men that have been rock solid over the past shooting 10 years. The top shooting centers and power forwards in the NBA. Number one, Frank Kaminsky. You know, Kaminsky's been rocking it today, or, or well, this season, I should say. Sense I wonder if we get invited to the uh, ways to convert low post opportunities to the All Star yeah, weekend. I concur with that, but it's not just finesse with him, guys. I mean, he can use his. I have a feeling as well. I'd say the dunk um, he'll contest. Get his points the soft or the hard way. That I'm there on the glass. Good. Look at that. Hornets leading by five. Lynn. Quinn passes to Lynn. Oh, I didn't want it back. Freak with it. Now guarded by Shumpert. There's the screen. Golinari wide open. It's beautiful. Gave him all the room he needed, and he knocks they started coming the in with a, with a double team, so I had to get rid of it. right there working in rhythm. One setting the screen and the other using it to get that separation. Now, here's Tucker. He's had some Oh, I was there. No score yet from him. He did a quick floater, and I couldn't the get the ball. In this sort of grinded out physical game. That's the kind of look they can continue to go with. Maybe that'll help them create some separation oh, snap. on the scoreboard. I've seen Kaminsky make those three so balls before. If he felt like he could do it. Outside Get a little, little rambunctious here, Knight. On the wing, Shepard. Picked by Humphreys. And Shepard kicks to Humphreys. That's a dirty, no yeah, that's not working. That's what we call good defense in the paint. Worth its weight in gold. It absolutely is. And maybe even Whoa, more Whoa, Kaminsky. Right there. Ooh. Found his presence. That's an easy basket. Let's see how the Suns have performed over the last few weeks. Second in rebound. Fifth in steals. And they're in the top half of the league in blocks. That's pretty good. Not too bad. And guys, you, you can't say enough about how well they rebounded. So often, ah, Frankie it's boy, a possession battle in their favor, and that's really had a huge impact. Morris is checked in for Phoenix. Butso comes in for Brandon. I was there just in and case. For Charlotte, Michael he usually makes one of two. Comes in for Nicholas Batum, and PJ Hairston subbed in for Jeremy Lin. Morris a screen and Shumper kicks the ball. No, nope. and it's sent back by Quinn. Damn right. It's another block. Charlotte leading by six. He feeds it. Ooh, to wrong guy. It's oh, he dropped it. Shumper. Now here's Bloodzo. Goodbye, Quinn. More as a screen. And oh crap, I let him go. go. There's the floater. Blocked. Nicely done. And here's Freak. He's got 27. Feeds to Gallinari. Oh, Gallinari. Wide open for three. Damn. Gallinari's got five now. Beautiful. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Hornets. Their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots there and I am. blocking a few as well. You know, one other area they're doing well in is steals. I mean, they've knocked the ball. Gilchrist, look at that with the move. Down after the fact. Yes, really taking off here. Free. Here is Bledsoe. He has six. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. A brief check now of the stats for Bledsoe. 
his last 10 games, he's putting up about 12 points a game, five assists, and five rebounds. And he has been passing the ball like a virtuoso. That's what really stands out about these recent performances. Hey, every train needs a conductor, man. He unifies oh, bad his pass. teammates, sets the tempo, and they make some sweet, sweet music. Bad oh, shot. Freak. Oh, but I make the it. Largest margin of the game. He is just tearing it up this quarter. That lead's not going anywhere while he's this high. Bledsoe so dishes to Shumford. Looking to end the run. Ah. And he sinks the way up. Shumford Still 11 points ahead. Charlotte leading by 11. Quinn kicks to Kid Gilchrist. Kid Gilchrist gets a screen from Quinn. They set the pick. Damn it, I wasted it. Charlotte moving the ball around. Clock at four. Oh, God. Hairston, the pass to Quinn. Ah. Phoenix grabs the miss. Damn it, I hate it when I get stuck in the crowd. There we go. Because he's got to stay back and apologize. Shumpert, no good. All right, slow it up. Charlotte has gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. It's Kid Gilchrist on the wing. 122 left in the. Oh, quarter. that's early. Took the but it's still good. He saw it. 31 points for Freak. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Bloodsoed issues to Tucker. He kicks it to Shumpert. Morris with a screen on Hairston. Here's Shumpert. Oh, God. Don't Out leave my the man. Right wing. They got to get rid of it. Let's it fly. I'm there for no the rebound. For and there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a Ooh. good look at all. The Hornets have attempted 11 free throws today and converted eight of them. And he makes the first. This is a positive trend for him, especially here in the second half. Shooting just above 80% right now. And that's Looking more good, than respectable. Harrison. That's good for you. He's, he's got, made an improvement, Catching that's for Catching up on sure. the changes for Phoenix. Tyson Chandler, he's checked in for Humphreys. Warren comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Booker in for Shumpert. Jefferson's checked in for the Hornets. Laverne comes in for Gallinari. Now here's Bledsoe. He has six. Oh, that shit got stuffed. Oh, but that's another chance. Ah. Sometimes opportunities just kind of work their way in. Beyond the arc in the third for Phoenix. Charlotte leading by 12. Oh, see, he just good. Didn't get squared up with his feet. Greg, those are always tough to judge. Oh, that's right to the rack. I think the official got that one right. For Charlotte, they have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. Get those right back. You know, you've got to like the fact that they're getting to the line. And on top of that, they're making their free throws in this half. That bodes well going forward. Andre Robertson, he's checked in for Hairston. He doesn't have much time left. And the foul oh, God. Why did I? Why do you get so physical with him? He wasn't protecting the ball. Oh. 16 seconds left in the third. Bloodsoe outside. Looking to get it going. It's nope. rebounded by Kid Gilchrist. Kid Gilchrist has got three rebounds now in this one. I didn't want to waste my shot. There's no point. We're up and by a huge amount. The third quarter. I mean, if I could get in there, sure. And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The Just a minute. I want to see something. No, that's not what I wanted. I always forget how to... Uh... Okay. Final quarter of play can change everything. Because I feel like I can do that. I, I should start throwing lobs when I get a moment. Markeith Morris. Then there's Brandon Knight, and it's Chandler, and it's Booker in at the two guard. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. Warren, good. Give credit where credit is due right there. A terrific assist. Charlotte has gone six and Full, full court pressing. Very nice 50% mark, shooting the three God, that was out. nice. That is good. That's what's going to happen. 19 points for Al Jefferson. And that's exactly how they've gotten the lead right here. Easily, he's been their most consistent performer. 
As simple as it gets, he's hitting everything he's looked at. Keep feeding the fire. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor. In Is that money? Hugely. No, I shouldn't and have done that. it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Morris, left side. That's I don't know why I did something like that. Tonight. Eight points for Markeith Morris. And that trip played out perfectly for them. Still up by a good margin. Again, we're up by what? 12? And that's with a couple of mistakes. And now, we can't, we're not going to stop, though. And check in for Markeith Morris. Nicholas Batum, he's checked in for the Hornets. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Full court pressing. Let's get the ball inside. Quinn Why? And he gets the bucket. Laverne's and camping. Lead by 14. And an open path to the hoop there. Easy bucket. We've seen that far too many times today. It's Knight with the drive. And uh, I was right there, but... The by Knight. Again, Nine he used his height, Alex Lynn. you know, to... And you know what? One of the few bright shut that spots down. in this game for them today. Side. He's kept his edge even though they've been trailing. Charlotte moving it around. Quinn, Basil oh, Tolbert, bad pass. Chandler with the steal. Knight with it. Out defended by Freak. Get Jeff out of here. And this is why you need it's all Roberson. It. on the, the interior to contest shots. Right in the elbow. Yeah, Perfect Greg release. Mitchell, every shot. A hard one. Even the shots in close. Just Mr. Reliable again here today, Kevin. I mean, they need his points. Whoops. And he's producing. Now, here is Knight. He's guarded closely. Fires for three. Another three Damn, I Phoenix. left him. Talk about doing a Rip Van Week on defense. Come on, guys, wake up. Why are they leaving him open at the three-point nice. line? Nice. Come on. I tell you what, I don't know what he did in the locker room, but he needs to do a little bit more of it because he's on fire. Oh, I thought I'd get a backcourt out of that. Again, the miss by Knight. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double digit advantage on the scoreboard. Ah, oh, damn. They've I was making myself open. They played, I think, with more purpose so far. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over there. You go. Where we are. The first free throw is good, and the Suns making a change here. Humphreys checked in, and a switch here also for Charlotte. Jeremy I thought I had more rebounds than I do. Roberson. No oh, there we go. There's another one. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time. No question. Oh, and that's money. Look for Lynn. Nice, Lynn. And he gets it to go Jeremy. from the corner. So many assists here. And the Hornets lead by 16. It's an assist train the here we're on. The Suns have gone 4 of 8 in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. On, Knight into the lane. Humphrey. Oh, he's trying to get a lob again. going. It's oh, nice put back. And that's a really deft touch right there, guys. And he just guided that ball back up and in. You know, Clark, just a fingertip the touch on the ball. Yeah. Really well done. And, and you know what? No need to catch it in a situation like that. He's got terrifically soft Ooh. hands. And that finish doesn't I was making contact. I knew I had to get us in a posterizer. Guys, that's one of the more basic plays Two or more on that in one. anybody's playbook, but not to mention also truly one of the best and Greg the pick frees him up and Clark mm -hmm. the dunk caps it off oh did I oh, I did foul him well that could have been a clean block screen plays and they got it right there I'm cooking out here on offense Charlotte leading by 13 you got it let's get the ball inside here's Quinn off the pick oh jeez and there's a nice one in I can't believe I went in with the left hand. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Absolutely insane with that dunk. Well, now they're starting to rub it in, aren't they? Have build up a lead, and here we go, folks. It's showtime. <laughs> that was a oh, God. moment right there. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys on the road. So much bank wow, in this one. Conscious <laughs> has he been this quarter? They're riding that hot hand. Phoenix has gone one and two from three point range here in the fourth. Knight into the lane. Did I get a hand on it? Good. No, apparently not. Eight points here in this quarter. He is setting this place on fire, fellas. This shooting has been off the chart. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Now, Freak outside Jefferson. 
Pass to Quinn. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> God, I've had like the last four in a row, and it's been really quick. Watching this fella just go to work. Greg, it's not every point guard who can climb the ladder like he can. Not at all. Well, I tell you, I think his body control. Nice pass, but it was too flashy. really double circles. That's ten. Now the dish to Lynn. Freak with it. Jefferson, a screen on Knight. Quinn kicks to Jefferson. Oh, he's stripped. Here's Laverne. La oh, another That's block. It's insane. Now here's Knight. I got him. Out left to the wing. And Booker kicks to Chandler. Shot clock at six. Night for three. That was a bad rebounded pass. By Charlotte. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Minnesota where they'll take on the Timberwolves. And that's game four of four out on the road for them. Quinn dishes Here's to Jefferson. Here's Batum. Oh, Batum. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. I thought he would sink that pretty easily. He got way ahead of everybody. The first free throw is good. Eric Bledsoe's checked in for Phoenix. And a switch here also for Charlotte. Robertson's checked in. He hits Nicely both done. Stripe. This is just such a, a domination. The second half. They've brought their free throw I've been cooking out there. And that's winning basketball. That's one of the ingredients in oh, winning basketball. Tip. Good free throw shoot. And stolen by Free. Oh my god. <laughs> break with a monster slam. <laughs> oh man. You make a steal that was count. beautiful. Into Stolen from Bledsoe. At the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant offense. Yeah, I remember GA as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, oh, God. out there. But too much oh, the nice steal. steal. And they're on the break. Let's get the ball inside. Whoa. I wasn't expecting that. Now here's Freak. Guarded by Bloodsoe. Here's Laverne. Oh, Gets gosh. Blocked. But they'll get another chance. Nice. That was lucky. Just to shoot. Got it. Still ball inside. Second oh, that was money. Oh, that was so nice. Goes in for him. Good shot from oh. Quinn. <laughs> Still Quinn managed to make it count. Nine points in the game. Bloodsoe outside. Oh, I can't believe I didn't get a hand on that. With the spin and everything? Not a one on one matchup that favors him. Well, you wouldn't know it with that finish, I'll tell you. I mean, that took a little bit of creativity right there. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Quinn passes to Jefferson. Oh, is that bank? And oh, my goodness. Looking good out here. Jefferson's I'll take another assist, no problem. For Phoenix, they've gone I don't have any rebounds, so there's only so much I can do with that. What was I doing way out of bounds there? What's up with it? Watch Not it. Defended by Freak. Here's Warren. Good and ah. Bledsoe gets the assist. And it's eight points for TJ Warren. Well, I like We're good. We're just wrecking him right now. Bledsoe we can honestly right take our time. Oh, what? Oh, God. I can't believe he got that. And Batum kicks to Quick release. Off target from outside. And I wouldn't put it past him, guys, to eventually start hitting those, given what he did in the first half. Kicks to Humphreys. Oh, I jumped early. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. But he stopped him. Why is he saying we got to listen? Didn't he get the tip on it? Unless he had control of it or something for, like, a millisecond. Here's Warren. Down low, Chandler dishes the Oh, that's the mine. Up. That's good. That was mine. And Hornets timeout call. All right, let's get this going. Wait, hold on. 
Guarded by Bledsoe. Here's Quinn. I thought I got it off. No good that time either. Suns trail by 19. Fast break. Here come the Suns. Bledsoe outside. Oh, crap. Oh, don't do that to me. There's the bucket. Yeah, that, I knew that was going to happen. That was a three ball. All right, let's chill. Let's slow it up. Still has to keep an eye on You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Now here's Freak. Guarded by Bledsoe. Steps back and shoots. Oh, come on. I actually had a path to the hoop. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Hornets. You know, They're already saying that at a minute 20. Well, obviously. One, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Shot quality and better overall shooting. And so checking out their record tonight, that'll mark win number 32 overall. And guys, being in opposite conferences, these teams only meet twice a year. And when it's been a while since you've seen a team like this. That's why, yeah, I've never seen them. The first game of the season series. And that's exactly what's taking place here tonight against the Suns. And when you look back at this one, oh, I didn't want him. Whoa! Performance. This was for free. Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was going to drop in. Night. Oh man, how did you were high enough? Why not slam it down? It's an important rebound, and especially on a night where the board work has not been their best. But they're still good. Steal. Oh, he got it back. Can they pump it up a notch here in the clutch? Basically played a give and go with the wrong team member. Points, and he's created a lot of chances for his teammates also. And Clark, some of those assists that he's got today have been just electric. Two shots. What is Bledsoe doing? You got it. Now here's Freak, defended by Booker. Here's Robertson. That's Bank. Oh. And the Hornets lead Ooh. by 17. That's another one that's 18 and this assists. this is going to be a fantastic result for them. No win on the road comes easy. Not in the NBA they don't. And trust me, they're going to take a little extra oh, God. in this win. Oh, I can't believe I didn't get that pickup. The entire building of hostile fans. 13 feet away. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Clark, and they can just let you the clock it. run out here. No inside. argument with that W. Pass to Laverne. Nice. nice. To Keep padding stats. Terrific run to seal the deal. Yeah, and now let's just keep an eye on how much longer they keep the foot on the accelerator. Bloodsoe outside. Just in case. And so it's the Hornets taking care of business in this one. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team. That was quite the domination. What a play. Well, oh yeah, you know your she's chatting. To make plays with your passing was a major factor in this one. How did Whoa! <laughs> He's trolling. <laughs> that was that real. That was hilarious. Hey, listen, don't tell anyone. But I don't really think it's been me that's been getting this team going. There's so many great scorers on our roster, but I think almost anyone who can throw a pass can look good with the way this team finished. Well, I don't uh, think that's true at all. Doris, thank you as always. The 2K Sports. But I'll take, show. I'll take it. You know, get, bump that team chemistry up. No triple double, but huge thank points, you, huge assists. Now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan Player of the Game, Freak. He had just an outstanding fourth quarter performance. He really had the fire lit under him, and down the stretch, really having a huge impact on the outcome of this game. He flat out dominated. I mean, you see the kind of plays he was making all over the court. This is a game, no matter who they put on him, he wasn't going to be denied. His offensive power was in full effect. Seeing Freak dominate the way he did tonight reminded me of watching him play in high school. He was a man among boys. He was a four-time consensus All-American back then. Overall, great game. And that'll do it for our broadcast tonight. Hope awesome. Fantastic job there. The good news is with each of these games, I get a good chunk of VC back that I don't really use, so it just keeps being saved up. So that's always good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that concludes this game. It was another great performance away. Hopefully, we'll be going home soon. It could be in our next one, actually. I'm not sure, though. We'll have to find out. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Favorite it as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to follow me on my social media down in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.